Did you recognize any of the birds on that intro? Well, if you had difficulty, we're going to help you with that. Today we're distinguishing and uh, identifying America's wading birds in a way that you can remember. If you see that to be true and you appreciate the presentation, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you'll know any time we upload a new video. You enjoy now. Take a look at this group of wading birds. Now what do they all have in common? Well, I'll have to tell you because it's not all visible. They're all shaped alike with long necks and legs. They're all white or they're dark with an immature white stage or they're dark with a genetic variation that's white or they're dark with a very closely related subspecies that is white. That description exposes the issue that complicates the identification of America's wading birds. It's the white birds. Diversity of color facilitates identification. Conformity complicates identification. And the color of conformity among America's wading birds is white. Confused? If so, we're going to clear that up. Take a look at this group of birds. What do they all have in common? You need some help? They're all dark, despite the fact that they might have a white stage or a white version hiding in their history somewhere. Look at the sandhill crane and the great blue heron. One inhabits the water and the water's edge. The other forages low grasslands. One tucks his head when he's in flight, and the other extends theirs, easily distinguished. This is the reddish heron. Can you tell why? They're hyperactive, spreading their wings to attract minnows in the shade, retracting those wings to scare them, easily distinguished. This is an American bittern. The American bittern, the least bittern, the night herons all have a distinct shape and color, easily distinguished. This is a tricolored heron. They're the only heron with a white underbelly, easily distinguished. This little blue heron is the only American wading bird that is solid grayish blue in color, easily distinguished. Alright, let's look at this easily distinguished group of white birds. They're a little closer to the confusion because they're all white, but they are also easily distinguished. This is a white ibis. They weigh little, but they forage grasslands also. However, because of that long, downwardly curved bill, they will never be confused. This wood stork with its uh, black, bald head is one of God's chosen creatures, but they will never be confused with the uh, herons and egrets. The cattle egret is an egret, but they're easily distinguished. They're noticeably smaller than the other herons and egrets, and they're foragers. They're most often seen in pastures following tractors and cattle catching scattered insects. They are easily distinguished. Now let's look at this group of birds. They are the real McCoys. They account for the vast majority of wading birds in America. If you can distinguish this group of birds, you're on your way to becoming an expert at recognizing America's wading birds. This is the snowy egret. Notice the black bill and black legs. The yellow feet are telling too, but they're usually underwater. The black legs and black bill reveal the snowy egret. This is the great egret, elegant and graceful. Notice the yellow bill and black legs. They're easily distinguished. This is the great white heron. Some say they're a subspecies of the great blue heron. Others say they're a totally different species. And others say that they're just a white version of the same bird. However, it doesn't really matter because we're just trying to distinguish them. So remember this, yellow bill, yellow legs, the great white heron. By the way, their habitat range is central Florida, southward, and the Caribbean. There are two domestic wading birds that complicate identification, and for that reason we're going to call them the pretenders. They're pretenders because they either have an immature white phase or a white genetic variation. One is the little blue heron and the other is the reddish egret. This is the little blue heron 
And this is a photograph of the immature little blue heron. Notice two things about this bird. First of all, they have the yellow grayish legs of the heron. And notice also they have a black tip bill. Only three American wading birds have this black tip bill. They are the little blue heron, the reddish egret, and the tricolored heron, which is immaterial in this group of birds. This is the uh, reddish egret, and they have a white genetic variation that's not shown here. However, they can complicate identification. Unfortunately, this bird is considered a uh, declining species by uh, conservation groups. Three things can help identify them. Firstly, they have the black legs of the egrets. Secondly, they have the black tip bill. And thirdly, they are hyperactive in behavior. They're frequently seen charging through the water in spinning circles. They like to spread and then retract their wings to attract and then scare minnows. They do have a uh, limited habitat range that includes the Florida, Gulf, Caribbean, and Central American coastal areas. Remember, the black tip bill and the hyper behavior. Now, are we uh, closing this presentation with a photograph of the snowy egret? Uh, nah, not really. This is actually a photograph of the little egret. This bird is a totally different species that was originally an old world inhabitant with a vast range. Starting in the 1950s, they began to appear in the West Indies and since then have extended that range southward to South America and northward to Canada. Obviously, the bird is remarkably similar to the snowy egret, and distinguishing the two in an adequate manner provides enough material for uh, a new presentation. Meanwhile, note this as an exception to our color identification guidelines, and stay tuned for that future presentation. Until then, remember these axioms for identifying America's wading birds, and remember that there is a growing problem of distinguishing between the snowy egret and the little egret. Birds with black legs and black bills are snowy egrets. Ones with yellow bills and black legs are great egrets. If they have a yellow bill and yellow legs, they're a great white heron. Black legs is some kind of egret. Yellow or yellow grayish legs, some kind of heron. Hyper behavior, reddish egret. Black tip bills, reddish egret little blue heron or tricolored heron. Now, if you want to get good at identifying the American wading birds, you're not finished. You need to look more closely at the habitat ranges. I wanted to emphasize color identification for a simplified and fast ID method. You go a little further and become familiar with the habitat ranges and you'll get even better at this. Now, if you found this to be interesting, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. You take care.